sheep need to be shorn. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't shearing your sheep, what are you doing? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. And I am the canary in the mine. The canary? Oh, the one who dies? Hopefully not. If it dies, it means there's a leak. I'll let everybody know if there's danger <laughs> with my life. <laughs> yeah. Um. This is Frank. As you can see, he's all sobered up. <laughs> he's he's given up a, a lot for Lent. Yeah. Um, and we're ready to go. I kind of yeah. want to learn how to do audio effects for when I say podcast. I can get like an echo effect. Oh, yeah. I, I can't imagine that'd be that hard to do. I was going to say. Because every say? time I say, welcome back to the Crook and Crook podcast, I want to say, podcast, podcast. Right. Podcast. That should be doable. We'll see. We'll put it to the test. If I if you hear it today, it means I did it. Yeah. If you don't, it means I'm slamming my keyboard, not you, being able to figure it then out. tell them how to do it. Um, we still have our oranges for um, Lunar New Year. I found out that, remember I didn't know what they were? Oranges, tangerines. Oh, I put it up. I put it up. That What these were? They are mandarins. How'd you know? I do my research after the podcast. I never do my research. I looked at the bag in the fridge. But uh, you actually could tell from looking yeah, at when, it? Yeah, like I said, I, I, I do all my research post or during editing process. Yeah. And I was seeing the lineup. Oh, okay. And what cuties are are actually mandarins. Oh. So they're mandarins. They're smaller. I don't know if they have a different meaning. I looked up the meaning of tangerines and oranges in, in Chinese Sport. culture. Okay. Oh, and turn, also the other thing. You might have saw it in, in my edit, but it was like small. I did a lot of like, we were saying a lot of things that didn't have like a picture edit, but they had words. Mm-hmm. And the reason why oranges represent wealth and um, tangerines represent was that good luck? luck. One was good luck and one was wealth. It's a play on words. It's like in Chinese, you know, orange to us also means orange color. Yeah. They sound very similar to orange sounds like wealth. Oh, and okay. Tangerine sounds like luck. Okay. Oh, so, oh, okay. Although it represents it, it's also, I think, where it might derive from, which just it sounds like it. That's your the Chinese you lesson know. for today. <laughs> Um, okay, so... It's Wednesday. It's not. I mean, it is. Oh, it's Thursday. <laughs> All right. So, that means... I'm the one that's supposed to get mixed up about days. Yeah. I'm... Okay, so, here's your paper. Um, oh. I was I was toying with it. How about walk through Wednesday? Uh, oh, my gosh. I can't do anything. The, the name you thought about for it? Yeah. You know, every single name, pl- play on the name for it's... the week is always about Wednesday. <laughs> We don't have any All TH right. sound of things, any F sound of things. Walk through Thursday. It has the TH. Yeah. Walk through Thursday. Walk through Thursday. So okay. the 23rd Psalm, which... Your favorite. Today's the 6th. Six- you should get a tattooed on like your rib cage. I don't know. That's so basic. I'm thinking like a cheek or something. Your neck. Um. Yeah. Okay. So um, I always refer... This is the 61st podcast. You know, it's funny you say that. Before the podcast started, I was like... We stopped saying numbers. No, I keep track. Okay. It's the 61st podcast. I know why I didn't want to say it last time because you didn't have a drawing for us on the 60th. (laughs) I don't really keep track, but I I did find out. Um, So. Walk through Thursday. So, no, up to now, I keep referencing the 23rd Psalm, um, which is a popular Psalm, but maybe everybody isn't exactly clear with it, but a very popular line in it is, um, yea, though though I I walk walk through through the the valley. So walk through Thursdays. How about if we walk through every the Thursday. valley of the shadow of the twenty third psalm? Yeah. So from now until yeah, so week there's, six. Yeah, there's six. There's six. Um, what is it? Ver- verse, verse line line line. We, verse. we never know this. The twenty third psalm. So it would be it would be Psalm twenty three colon bars one. You know what I mean? And in rap, you'd call it bars. Oh, okay. or, or no, what is it like? Yeah, I know. Yeah. You mean like in music. So if we do a line for the next six Thursdays, we'll be left. That we won't have one for Holy Thursday, but we could just do a Holy Thursday something that day. Oh, wow. That works out. Yeah. Swimmingly. Yeah. All right. Well, then without further ado, welcome to Walk Through Thursday. I also wish I was good at animation and then I can make oh, like a little... I definitely would yeah, love to do stuff with animation. Cool. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. 
if anyone's looking for a job, I'm looking for a unpaid intern. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to do a lot of my work for me. The unpaid part is. All right. So today, this is a good one. I think it's a nice way to start off Open this walk. Yeah. There. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Right. And that is, um, I think that's King James Version. So I, I will not want. No, no, no. I'm just saying I learned and memorized, and I believe that is the King James Version, which is thy thou there was a preparest. There was a podcast where we were talking about the different versions of the Bible. Well, it, must, it wasn't too long ago. But, oh, no, actually, no, I think it was a uh, meme review. Hmm. No, it might have been a podcast. Who cares? Right. But I was saying I read the Bible in the New International Version, mm-hmm. but there's some things I still prefer in the King James yeah. Version. 23rd Psalm being one of them. Right. So it the first line is, um, I shall not want. And in other versions, you could see there's nothing I need. Like there's, you know, you, you might mm-hmm. see it written a little differently, but like you just said, we're going to use this version. We're going to use this version. Okay. So, so I guess we'll start with the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I mean, how many times have we hammered that home um, on this PCAST? So many times. So many times. Do you want you want to take it away? Um, it is a visual of um, a person who lovingly cares for a whole entire flock, mm. and a flock that needs taken care of. Yeah, because they can get lost, they can get abducted, they can get killed, um, and they need to know where to go and how to how to be be their best selves. Yeah. I saw, um, remember this years ago, a sheep was found after years and he was like, his body was like all the way in there and, and uh, yeah, his, yeah. um, it's not called fur, wool, wool, his wool was, um, so very thick. They need to be she- sheared. We've gone to sheep shearing events. Have we? Oh yeah. Fox chase farm, okay. sheep shearing events, um, where they, Shear the sheep. They shear the sheep. And, and um, you know, a lot of things people are against doing to animals, but sheep need to be shorn. <laughs> <laughs> if you're shearing your sheep, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And that's where, just a little aside, that's where lanolin comes from. And it, whenever you look at you your- You use big words. And a lot of times I'm like, should I just like, I think I should just uh, keep throwing up definitions for some of the yeah. words you dush, said. Dush, dush, dush. Yeah. Um, the canary has tweets. Um, lanolin, it's in all of, not all of, but it's in, um, hand creams and beauty products. It's literally like, I heard like a sheep shearer's hands, you know, he's a farm guy and everything. They're real soft. So soft because whatever that is against the skin of the sheep. Yeah. It's like the best hand cream you could ever have. It's like. Well, it makes sense kind of. Because like, you know how like your hair gets like mm-hmm. natural oils on it. Mm-hmm. So a sheep, which, you know, the wool obviously is so coveted. Yeah. It probably has like the best lanolin. Now there's a word for it. <laughs> All right. So yeah, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Um, Yeah. I, mean, I think we can just sum up everything we said now in this one podcast. People go around and they worry. Mm-hmm. and they get all oh what's happening i don't know how to do it i, I don't know how to do it you know like uh when you know new new parents are like mm-hmm. oh there there's not a manual how am i supposed to do it? and with life like with finances with emotional troubles you even just said remember you were like you thank god for the the fact you live in 2021 but you don't know how you, you don't know how civilization civilization got here. You don't know how to yeah. make a telephone yeah. or you know. I don't know how TVs work. Yeah. If you, if you put a gun to my head and said explain that TV, even yeah. on simple terms, I'd say pixels. Right. And what's a pixel? You you lost me. Thoughts. Um. I, I know lanolin. <laughs> I know. You ever heard about lanolin? They just like <laughs> yeah. un, uncock the gun. All right, kid. You you know something. Yeah, you're safe for now. Yeah, so nobody knows what they're doing. Nobody knows what they're doing. <laughs> and, and and it's it's easy to get stressed in this world, especially when you put the weight of the world on your shoulders. And I know, like especially nowadays, when you hear sheeple and you hear you're a sheep. It's like an insult. It's an insult. Mm-hmm. And, and people all want to be leaders. And 
this has nothing to do with like with Mm-mm. that Th- this is you know every great warrior every great king had a father jesus had mary you know like well one of the reasons why the catholics are so big on mary is like was this idea that it was the mother it was like the person that he answered to right even obviously he was god and she was still human but it was like and so when you just think of that comfort and you're being guided and you will be safe you know what what was one of the shepherd's main jobs you might not know but i'll tell you i've done (laughs) i've done i'd be kind of cool to be a shepherd uh if you like to be alone i wouldn't like i'd like to be like a part-time shepherd Mm -hmm. um they during the night when Mm -hmm. wolves came and stuff Mm -hmm. imagine being a sheep alone and, and having to sleep with one eye open yeah and so to know okay it's a reminder i feel like this whole prayer is a reminder mm-hmm. I, yes. you say it all the time it's just like and going through anything it's, right the lord's my shepherd i shall not want it's it's a reminder that i can go to sleep spiritually like i'm being protected i don't need to be you know one eye open it's like when, when you full trust in in your shepherd being god right. you're good like a baby's not afraid to go to sleep yeah they don't think like what's going on outside of my crib it's like yeah complete you know sleep like a baby people yeah. say that you know like yeah just no and like, comfort i i think so much you know people should look at you know the, the best parent or even if you're a parent if you're watching this and you're a parent imagine your child and and they were they were restless and they they were waking up with nightmares you would you would say have pe- like i'm right here i'll stay right. in, i'll stay in the room with you and, and you can compare that someone's doing that for you and, and even at fur babies, like so many people have pets. Oh, so have, that's a fur baby. But. Have pets over actual human children. Yeah. But they, they feel the same, the same way. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they put little coats on them and little shoes. Yeah. They don't get the salt on their feet. And, and you know, maybe classically you'd be like, oh, that's like over the top. But it's not. It's like when you love another thing, you know, you want to protect it. And if you're in that position of protecting, like you're the one that takes your animal to the vet. You're the one that, you know. Yeah and um so yeah so the lord is my shepherd you can just tell yourself that anytime you're feeling overwhelmed and and it's like okay they, there is a greater power watching over me and it trans it, it moves on forward right to the next line of i shall not want right and once again people look at that line and i i like to think of like with the with the most cynical persons looking at it mm-hmm. and thinking like oh you're a sheep and i shall not want is like Oh, you don't want any possessions. You don't want right. anything. And it's not saying that. It's ba- it's saying I am provided for. Right. Like, even it's not, you're not going to wake up a millionaire and it's like, oh, but I thought it was being provided for. But on a spiritual sense. Of- on a spiritual sense. Because the other detracting thing that someone could say is, oh, well, the person sleeping on the street, how how are they saying that prayer? Um, And we're talking about on a spiritual sense. On because- a spiritual sense. Because everything else is important to the comfort of a human being. Yeah. But we're talking about um, uh, it's, it's there is there is a Bible verse I forget which one, but it, it says like, don't be afraid of someone who can kill you. Be afraid yeah. of someone who can take your soul. Oh. Which you know. Yeah. Hopefully it's not gonna <laughs> come up, but. <laughs> <laughs> I like that soul you got there. Imagine <laughs> yeah. walking like walking alone. How much more terrifying if someone came up and was like. Hey, I like them shoes. What sides are you? That's scary. But imagine someone just yeah. looks you up and down and says, I like your soul. Yeah. I want it. And then they start chasing you. Oh, my gosh. You and your stories. I, I Also, I want to um, add to this as we start it that uh, so the prayer traditionally and classically is the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not mm. want. I, 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 I. It's all about me, myself, and I. <laughs> you can. You can. I am telling you this. I'm allowing you. Uh, God is allowing you and I'm passing the message on. You can change the pronouns. So if I want to pray for you, um, I can say the Lord, if I'm worried about you and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, Mm. he's alone. How can this, you know, what will happen if I say the 23rd Psalm, but I change the pronoun to he. So uh, I'll say his. the Lord is his shepherd. He shall not want. I'm saying the 23rd Psalm, but it's about you, but it's reassuring me. It's reminding you. Right. It's, uh, it, well, once again, you know, to all you people who have kids out there, if they're going out and they're partying or all any, night. 
buddy, you're you're um. Well, I was just using one example, and then I was gonna like trans like. You know what? That's I'm, a good idea. Thank, yeah, <laughs> I'm really just trying to hit the point home. Okay. If you have kids and, and they're they're going maybe on a, on a trip, yeah, to to study Bar- abroad, study abroad, Barcelona, Spain, mm-hmm. and you're getting so anxious. Mm-hmm. You're like I've seen Taken. I know I how this goes. I, how am I going to help in this? Situation? How am I going to? And, and then you you realize that your life's being swallowed by it. Mm-hmm. You need to once again remember, like we like if you are truly believe I'm being led. You're not special. You are everyone's special. I take it back. But all humans, yes, re- regardless all. of all, mm-hmm. it's not it's not an, an elitist group. Right. It's humans were created as vessels of God's love. Write that down. Yeah. And so you say, I'm more so and the Lord is is their shepherd. Wait. No, you can say there too. What I was gonna say was um you can so the you can have fun with your fun with pronouns. Have fun with it. <laughs> have fun with it. You can do he or she, and I've also done they. Um people nowadays say they if you don't want to say he or she, but I say it in the plural sense, meaning um I've done it when um there's been a death. And when I want, I want to pray for that family, family. for the grieving, grieving family. Yeah. Like I'll pray for the the mom and then the dad and then the sister and the brother. If you if you say the Lord is their shepherd, they shall not want. And continue on with, mm-hmm. with they. You're praying for the whole um, crowd, and once again, you're also praying for yourself because you can get really depressed mm-hmm. if you think I can't believe that family's going through that, and there's nothing I can do, and it's so sad. The, the the line, the psalm, the Bible verse, the word of God is telling you they're okay. Yeah. No. Why I like this, and I'm sure that you like this specific verse so much, is more than even a prayer mm-hmm. where a prayer is like, dear God, please do this. Do this. Conversation. Yeah. It's strictly reassurance, right? right. Like it, it, it's so much. It's it's a reminder. Right. The Lord's my shepherd. It's not Lord. Will you sh- will you guide me? Right. The Lord is my shepherd. You know. Right. Like, that's it. It's, it's, I'm, 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 that's I'm, what I'm I choose not to believe. Jumping into lines ahead, but uh, like, um, it's enough weeks away that we'll forget yeah. it. <laughs> the um, yeah, they all walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will. F- it's not allow me not to fear. It's right. I will fear no evil. Why am I not fearing evil? Because I'm remembering. Right. Because uh, you're, you're you're protecting me. Right. The rod and staff. Right. And and so it it's such a anytime you have because what we talked about it with um with exorcisms why were we talking about exorcisms why wouldn't we talk about exorcisms <laughs> that's right up our alley <laughs> no but we were talking about the importance of symbols and, mm-hmm. and crosses and stuff and we're like sometimes it's easy to lose yourself and then there's a big old demon and it's like uh you start quite and it's like if you have something that that cross even though you can waver that cross right. isn't gonna waver and then it, you can it's the same thing with this. It's yeah. When you're getting so overwhelmed and, and it's like, no, why why would this happen? Like, why would God allow all that? And it's like. Right. Just You, you reassure yourself. They're a child. Yeah. And I've I've said, um, but who cares? I'm not going to keep saying I've said before because I'm going to keep saying. I'll say it forever. Every w- walk through uh, Thursday. Um, I, I did memorize the whole psalm no big deal or maybe i'll say it on the last day <laughs> um maybe i'll say it on the last day <laughs> um but there have been times of great crisis in my life mm. when i can only say the first line mm. and that's enough that's enough and that's the line we're talking about today and that's the line we're talking about today so yeah. if if you just can say that one line you will be blessed by the word of god because it is a blessing mm-hmm that's even if you're incoherent of what you're saying. Yeah. But if you if you do have any cognition of what you're saying, it's a reassurance. Yeah. And it's a reassurance for you. And, and it's for, a reassurance for me. For anyone else, even if the person, like you might say, I'll say this prayer for all the good people in my life. Um, I have passed um, police in in action with um whoever they've stopped and um i'll say pr- i'll say a prayer for the person they stopped because i'm sure they're feeling very upset nervous mm. scared whatever the case because i don't know what the case is innocent or not it's not a great pla- 
it's never great to have flashing lights um, for you. But I'll say they, because I also want to pray for the cop Mm. because not, like I said before, it's not like I'm praying for the cop. Like it's, I'm reassuring myself that even though cops have a bad rap or, you know, you might, what's happening, which person is in danger? Cause you don't know, you know, in, in a, in a stop with a policeman, either one of the people could be in danger from the other. So if you say they, once again, it's like they're both children of God. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping that this one is doing their job to the best of their ability. And this one is being a citizen to the best of their ability. And that, so, you know, you can pray for, God forbid, not pray for, but like you can bring to mind like your attacker that they will be dialed back from whatever yeah. whatever has come upon them. Yeah. No, I, I definitely I think, you know, nowadays it's important or it's it's good to remember that we're all children of God. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, the scariest thing is when you demonize someone, it makes them scarier. Right. Right. Like, right. even when you just put a, a suit on someone, I was thinking about it. And it's like some people with job titles and stuff, it's crazy to think about. It's just a normal human being. Right. Like the way they make you feel. It's right. Like, uh, you, it's like you're talking to someone superhuman. It's like we're all humans. And when you like, yeah, the scariest thing would be someone who wasn't a human because it's like. Right. They don't have the love that 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 love. They're not a vessel of love like right. like the rest of the children of God. But when you first tell yourself like, no, we're all we're all right. Um, we're all children of God. You know, He's the shepherd to all of us. Right. It's more reassuring because you're right. like, okay, there is a potential for good in everyone. Right, and you want to amplify that energy. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Because it's like, like anything, like talking someone off of a ledge. You know, mm-hmm. you want to. Just remind everybody that we're all the sheep of Jesus and we're all, or whoever else, you know, like that we're all good. We all want to be happy. We all want to be good. Yeah. And sometimes different things elevate us into, you know, nonsense. So the best thing is to try to like make the energy stable yeah. and calming. Yeah. That's the thing, you know, we're all, we're all the sheep of, of, of we're all spiritually the sheep. And you can get a bad sheep, but it doesn't ever turn into a wolf, you know? Right. And, and to then think of it and, like, wondering why the shepherd is not striking it down. Like, right. striking down the wolf. It's, it's not a wolf. It's still mm-hmm. a sheep. It, right. it, it's misguided. Right. It's it's biting at the other sheep's ankles. And it's like, dude, stop. Right. But on the grand scale, it's not a wolf. Right. Yeah, so... I shall not want. Is, yeah, I, I don't think you've spoken on that yet. It, it, it's, it's. I think it's a good. Um, it's a good mantra, because, like I said, like when you're walking through the mall. Blind yeah. Room, <laughs> I shall yeah. not want. Yeah. Um, or when you're passing Coca-Cola, uh, fridges. <laughs> Listen, Lent, Lent has begun. The word Coke means nothing to me. Um, the good thing about it is, you know, like we just said a second ago, you might think. I do want, I need tires or I, you know, I, I need that's whatever. That's the first thing you thought of. Yeah. That's very important. And they're expensive. There's, there's a storm coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but what I'm saying is, you know, um, I told you this before I had a panic attack in, um, the summer mm-hmm. and I was convinced that all sorts of things were going wrong with me physically. So it was like, yeah. my blood pressure's up. I'm not getting enough oxygen. You know, this. Went to urgent care and and the um, health person said, you're not, you're fine. Um, you feel that way, but you have enough oxygen. Your heart mm. is regular. So, yes, you might be like, I need whatever. Yeah. I sh-, you know, This prayer is saying, you're okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's separate from, you know, your survival, your spiritual survival. Yeah. You, you know, you know. You have everything you need. Mm -hmm. So I think people might steer away from it if they think like, I don't have everything I need. And they're just focused on, and it's hard not to, I mean, because we're not talking about, I'd like a bracelet. They might be talking about food or, you know, medication or something, but um, it's okay. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's all just sort of a reminder. Like, Mm -hmm. and like we said before, you know, this is an, an earthly world where 
terrible things happen. There's no two ways around it. But when you have that faith in in a higher power and, and stuff, it, it's it's that remind. It's literally just a reminder of okay, this is Earth. Like I I am being guided through this life. Mm-hmm. There's someone watching. No matter how bad you know, you, you might there might be a sheep who has a pretty bad luck of the mm-hmm. of the litter. Mm-hmm. The wolf might even nip at his ankle, but it's like the shepherd is, is right around the corner. Right. Ready to bonk him on his head. Right. I forgot one other pronoun, which is our O U R. Okay. When do you use that one? When you're part of, when you're in the mix. When you're in the mix. Yeah. When you're getting pulled over. You see well, those lights. Whatever. Like I would say it for you and me sitting right and Frank sitting here right now. The Lord is our shepherd, Frank. <laughs> Um, and it's, it's just a, like I said, it's a good mantra. Um, it's just, it's just something you can say when you're, when you're walking, when Whatever. you're driving. Uh, yeah, no, I think everyone should learn it because a lot of times the other thing is, I don't know if you just said this, but maybe not when in times of trial and stuff mm. or in, you know, desperation, a lot of people are like, oh, well, well, at a loss. What, what do I say? Like, mm-hmm. I, I wish I knew prayers. Like, there's you're under stress. Uh, yeah, there's someone who just a demon just entered my coworker's body at work. Yeah, I wish I had listened in yeah. in, in, in high school religion class. Right. And even the Our Father, I love the Our Father. Say it every day. Of course, yeah. It's not the same in this sense where right. you know, Our Father is like sort of like gratitude and right a, a remind, peaceful reminder you say it at night uh thank you to the lord this is more of you know this is when when when, when the going gets tough you got this one to say okay the lord's my shepherd shall not right want. like if i'm going into battle i don't know if i'd want to like i would say their father but i think this one would get me ready right. more yeah it's it like just putting on the armor of god check out the armor of god podcast yes yeah. it, it just brings you so close yeah to feeling protected and um you know we talked about keeping spaces in your head when you don't want other thoughts yeah. remember we talked like you could do the um or you could just we had bells and everything else bells and whistles <laughs> bells and whistles but um even if you just need to like get i want to get that whatever the thought is out of your mind or you, yeah you could even do it if somebody is freaking an- can you say freaking it's, you can- <laughs> uh, it's our podcast we you can even do it if someone's annoying you you know what I mean? <laughs> Just like blank, blank. The Lord's my shepherd. Yeah. In your head. <laughs> Seriously. Someone's yammering somewhere or even not at you, but say you're like at the DMV and like you could, you you can just be like, you yeah. know, and just go in, go inside and. And they can't take that away from you. No. You are protected, but yeah. Yeah. So walk through Thursdays because like I said, it's um walk through the valley of the shadow of death and. I'm excited for that one. Which week is yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> no, but well, March 11th. March 11th. Save the date. 11th, your most favorite holiday. It's another one of another my... eleven, <laughs> because it doesn't say you're living in the valley of the shadow of death. You're walking through it. Through you, everybody can do through. Hey, we're doing Lent. We're giving up a lot. Going through it, you're moving. You're moving but... through the storm. They're not like you don't have to live there forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Getting through it. So, yeah, thank you for coming to our first annual Lenten. Walk. Oh, and I did. Well, so, so we kind of described it when we said that there'll be seven weeks. Um, So, yesterday we kept saying 40 um, days, 40 days. Yeah. It's going to be 46 days of it's Lent. It's all because Easter changes. It changes, but also, like, I don't think you do it on Sundays. I don't know what it is, but it's it's actually 46 days. Okay. 46 days of no gloves. I remember the only, when I first realized that was when I was vegan. Oh. Because I was, I was counting down the days. Right. And so then, in case people are counting down, don't get excited at at day 40. Yeah. <laughs> it's to Easter. If you just, right? Yeah. It's yeah. to Easter. April 4th. If you set the bar at Easter and forget about the days, you'll be just fine. But thank you for coming to our first annual Walk Through Thursday with the 23rd Psalm. Psalm. Oh, Psalm. Oh, Psalm. Oh. Psalm. Did I learn it yet? I don't know. Stay tuned to find out. We'll be back tomorrow for... Have we made a name for Fridays? No. Fun Fridays? Friday is when... um, Grab bag Friday doesn't have a ring to it, no. but um, it's when I just keep calling it Wild Wednesday. Wild Card Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wild. We don't even say it's Friday. 
All right. Well, tune in tomorrow for our Wild Card Wednesday Friday <laughs> podcast. I am Spencer Cardi. I, this is Frank. And, and I'm the canary in the mine. Are you still are you still alive? I'm still alive. Look at that. <laughs> There's no leak. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>